They forged a 300 foot Hello, tall living automaton, so powerful that it single handedly pushed back the Empire's onslaught. Before long, the whole universe had heard of the mechanical knight known as Voltron. Voltron. Pissed that he was losing it's everything crazy. because of some oh. space robot, the Empire's King Zarkon ordered a space witch to kill Voltron with a magic space spell. And it kinda worked. Instead of being destroyed, Voltron was split up into five very merchandisable robot lions. Divided and stripped of its sentience, the universe's best hope had fallen. Until five space explorers crash landed on Eris, the exact same planet the lions just so happened to be hiding on. Destiny or some crap led them to the castle where the Princess Allura gave them a life changing opportunity. Pilot the long lost lions and go around saving the universe for a living. Keith Cogain is the head of the Lion Force in more ways than one. As leader of the team, he commands his cohorts, and he pilots the Black Lion, the literal head of Voltron. Lance McClain is the Han Solo of the group. This hot-headed show-off controls the Red Lion, which forms Voltron's right arm. Soyoshi Garrett, better known as Hunk, is the muscle of the team. He pilots the Yellow Lion, which forms Voltron's left leg. The Blue Lion is piloted by Sven Holgerson. No, oh, he did. <coughs> the Blue Lion is piloted by Princess Allura herself, taking over after the original pilot got a bad case of stabbing. Her lion forms Voltron's right leg. Last up is Daryl Stoker. You can call him Pidge. Pidge pilots the Green Lion, Voltron's left arm. And he's also, well, a little unhinged. Pidge, get rid of that grenade! At least his outfit matches his lion's colors. I mean, damn, it's not that hard, people. And when all five lions combine, Voltron lives again. Activate Mega Thrusters. Voltron! Voltron! Form feet Voltron. and legs. Form arms and body. And I'll form the head. You ever think about how the pilots stay in the heads of the lions when they're fighting? That has to be, like, ridiculously nauseating. Oh, undoubtedly. That's probably why they usually travel by flight and prefer long-range combat over hand-to-hand. -hand. Speaking of which, Voltron got busy fighting Zarkon's giant row beasts and saving the universe with a huge assortment of weapons. Voltron can shoot Stingray missiles and even pillars of flame out of its hands and feet, or blast the lion heads off like rockets. It can stun enemies with ion dart lasers from its head, or use the Electro Force cross attack from its chest. On Keith's command, the Lion Force can manifest Voltron's most powerful weapons out of thin air. Everything from spinning laser blades to javelins to nunchucks. But the real showstopper is the almighty Blazing Sword. Form Blazing Sword! With this blade, Voltron can slice through most Robies like Jello and dish out the Starfire attack, which splits Robies apart and also makes a friggin' tornado for good measure. The Blazing Sword can also conduct electricity to recharge Voltron itself. Why are all these swords also batteries? The Blazing Sword is enormously powerful, capable of destroying a satellite oh. hundreds of times larger than Voltron. Voltron himself is powerful enough to melt meteors, kick giant machines sky high, and tank explosions the size of countries. The Voltron Lions have even traveled between galaxies in less than a day, making them several times faster than the speed of light. This Voltron has also survived dead. landing on the Omega Comet, which is so dense it possesses the gravitational force of a black hole. Okay, that all sounds insane, but even giant robot man okay. lions have their this limits. Like getting dead. ganged up on by multiple robies at really? once, or getting stabbed yeah. and sliced open. But like whole levels of gravity, <laughs> that's a gigwag, right? Voltron may be strong, but it lacks the finesse and skill of one trained in martial arts. Voltron also carries a shocking design flaw. If the release plates on its joints are struck in combat, it could jettison an entire limb from the core body. Wait, wait, wait. You're telling me that if I kick Voltron, freaking Voltron, in the shins hard enough, he'll just lose a leg and it'll just pop right off? Essentially, yes, though it has only happened in training. Even so, whether the Lion Force is up against a technical issue or a colossal robeast, the universe can always depend on Voltron. <laughs> Uh, All 
right, the combatants are set. Let's end uh. this debate once and for all. But first, all this talk of robots is making me hungry. So let's, let, let's fix that. Now, I'm a man who likes a good home-cooked meal, but going out to buy or hunt my own food is a hassle. If only there was some way food could be brought straight to me. Good news, Boomstick. Introducing Blue Apron, the number one fresh food delivery service in the country. Using only the freshest ingredients, Blue Apron delivers a kit of ready-to-cook meals straight to your door, okay, along have... with easy-to-follow instructions. Plus, the ingredients are perfectly proportioned. We have to skip that. Okay, this could be bad. Scanners on, team! Seems the prehistoric activity originates here. Finally! If I don't see a dinosaur today, I'm blaming you. Quiet, Les. I'm picking up something. This could be bad. Power Rangers! Rangers. I voted for the Power Rangers. Hello! We need dinosaur power now! I think I found the dinosaurs. All right, Rangers, log off. Zach here. This is kicking. This is Billy. All systems go. Training reporting, ready to rock. I love this part. Let's tame these kids. For Voltron. Who faces first? And I'll form the head! It's like gonna have the same power. Second sword battle mode! Or it's like the first one. Alright, let the battle begin.
Now that's what I call a battle! There's a good reason why Voltron is the defender of the universe. While the Megazord boasted excellent abilities in hand-to-hand -hand and sword combat, Voltron couldn't go down so easily. Voltron's huge arsenal put it ahead, especially in long range. Even when the Megazord could get in close, it couldn't keep up with Voltron's blazing speed. I mean, Voltron travels between galaxies in a matter of hours, and it can fly. The Megazord I... once punched a monster weighing at most 10,000 tons 133 feet into the air. In contrast, Voltron kicked a 3,900 ton mutated bulldozer nearly 1,900 feet up. Despite Voltron's monster weighing less than the Megazords, this is still a more impressive feat. Comparing weight and distance traveled for both feats, Voltron's requires at least five and a half times more strength. Plus, Voltron clearly had the superior durability, especially with that black hole comet feat. The Omega Comet's pull could destroy entire planets within 62 miles of itself, which means the comet could output forces of over 13 sextillion newtons. The Megazord couldn't survive anything close to that level of power. We can prove it. Later in Power Rangers history, they upgraded their mech to the Thunder Megazord, which is specifically stated to be more powerful than the original Megazord in every way. The new Zords will serve you well. Once mastered, your Zords will reveal even greater powers. When this new Megazord what? fought against a giant Zord called Serpentera, which at full power could destroy planets, a single blast from it easily tore the Thunder Megazord apart. And that blast didn't even use half of Serpentera's power. Voltron outclassed the Megazord in almost every way that counted. They should have used strength, that. Speed and durability. They should have upgraded. Trust me, Otherwise I'm they would have won lying. the battle anyway. The winner is Voltron. Don't go away, we're about to reveal who's fighting in the next episode. And if you want to see behind the scenes commentary on this episode, then just click that box and start a 30 day free trial for a first membership. Thanks guys. Who's that? Who's that? Oh, that guy. At least this is nothing. Well, I... Okay, I did like the fight. I did like the fight. I did. I did like the fight. I like the video. I like it. See, I like it. Yeah, I like it. Well, well, the Power Rangers, they were doing well. They gave the they gave the best shot to fight it. Voltron. Voltron did more than them. So, <laughs> so, what I said, this might be bad. So. So, Power is lost, Voltron won. Next is those two, which I know the other guy a little bit, but I don't know the other, I don't know the other guy because I've never heard of him before. So, so two animated characters. So, thanks for all, thanks for y'all watching. Like this if you like it. Comment and, and subscribe to me. What? And now I need to go see. I don't want to miss my Chicago Bulls game today. So yeah. Bye bye.